What's up guys, welcome along to Arsenal Fan TV. It's been another shit week being an Arsenal fan, hasn't it? Firstly, we draw against CSK Moscow and just about managed to scrape ourselves getting into the semi-final of the Europa League. And then we draw Atletico Madrid in the semi-finals. And then we come back to the Premier League, go away to Newcastle and lose 2-1. Fantastic. Let's get into the comments and see what you lot are saying. Speaking of the Europa League, it's still on everyone's tongues because Emmanuel's commented saying, winning against Atletico, which is not going to happen, is just going to cover up again what has been taking place since the move to the Emirates and the error of the guy from the USA took over. Uh, I think he's talking about Stan Kroenke there. To bring an end to this crap, there has to be chaos for order to be restored. That means things have to completely fall apart on Wenger and the board. Got to hit the critical possible low for Arsenal. It does have to be relegation. Oh, it doesn't have to be relegation, but it has to start somewhere. That somewhere is being eliminated from Europa Cup. I mean, I'm gonna support my team, I'm gonna back them, but you know, it's not looking too great. I mean, if we, we, we just about managed to get into the semi-final, as I said, so if we do manage to get into the final and win it, which I don't see happening, you know, what is next for the board? What is next for Wenger? Ridwan Abu Bakar says, look, Wenger will somehow pull something from the bag and win against Atletico and it's Wenger in all over again. No, 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 honey. No, 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 hold your horses. There's no Wenger in. I don't think there is anyone left in that uh, party anymore. Yaa Yura says, why is this guy worried? Don't worry, we'll beat Atletico. The boys did this to four Atletico. Wenger masterclass loading. Not quite sure if you're trolling. Akash Budwaj said, Arsenal should get Allegri. He is the only one I think can get Arsenal back to where we belong. But then on the other hand, Supreme says, Ancelotti, that's the answer. What do you reckon guys? What are we saying? Ancelotti or Allegri? Let me know in the comments below. Now, speaking on the loss against Newcastle, we've got a comment here from Matt Gunnar. And uh, he's saying this is something Ty would say, Newcastle's kit is similar to Juventus. We got confused. You lot need to start putting respect on Ty's name, honestly. I know he comes out with the wildest things, but uh, bro, Juventus, really? As you all know, we had one of our youngsters debut for us against Newcastle, and that was Willock. The, the feedback on Willock was a bit 50-50. I mean, there was a lot of fans slating him, which I'm quite surprised at. I mean, we've got nothing to play for in the Premier League right now. You do remember that, right? No matter if we win, lose or draw, we're either gonna be sixth, possibly fifth, or slip down. Like, there's nothing to gain from this. So bringing on a youth player at this time of the season, I think it's a good call. Um, J. Craw said, chill out all you, let the youngsters have their day. It's the only way they will improve. So as long as we are switched on for Atletico, then that's all that matters. Just get behind a team and success will come. Come on, you gunners. That's how you have to be. I mean, like I said, we're not playing for nothing. Him coming on doesn't affect us in any way. Man City has already won the league. Like, we're not gonna qualify for Champions League. We're in the Europa League, that's all we have to play for. Let the kids play, man, right? He didn't have the best debut. But is this his Premier League debut, man? Let, let the kid live. You want Shum said, only Arsenal fans would slate an 18 year old kid on his debut. Now, I mean, if you want to slate anyone, especially after that performance, I think that, I mean, we shouldn't be slating our players anyway, but if you're going to slate anyone, I think the one player you should be directing your slate into is Mustafi. And I've seen a lot of comments about him, so let's get into those. Sir Klopp said, Mustafi wouldn't even get into West Brom's starting 11. KLM1 said, Mustafi reminds me of Ramalan or early Koscielny, has a good game and then has five calamitous games. <sighs> that is facts. Invincible's Music said, it's funny how supposedly top defenders come to play for us and end up looking like absolute mugs. Gradually, the defensive prowess gets sapped out of them the longer they stay at Arsenal. It's been happening since Gallus and Torre 10 years ago. Wow. Wow. Facts only. Ozzy Mech said, what do you expect when the two most senior players in the team play crap? Mustafi is a total liability. Check is past it. His reaction speed is wank. Krishna Chatanya says, Pippa, please read this. Arsenal are the only team in England's top four leagues not to have any away points in 2018. Arsenal are in top four. I think you're you're talking, I think he means the, uh, the four divisions in the, what, is that for real? Are we talking Premier League, Championship, League One, League Two? Is that what he's talking about? Some like, I need to Google this. You're telling me out of all those four leagues, we're the only team to not get an away point this season, this year, 2018. That cannot be a fact. If that is a fact, <laughs> we are trash. 
Like I said it, we, we are trash. If that is an actual fact, we are actual trash. How can we not have not one waypoint? I need to confirm this. Someone confirm this for me right now. I think after reading that comment, I can't read anymore. That's just throwing me all the way off. That's that's it for me, guys. But yeah, I'm out. I'll see you guys next week, because that I'm lost for words. Wow. No away points. Exciting news. There's a brand new show called A Real Football Fan Show coming to Channel 4 on Thursday the 19th of April. Then every Thursday after that till the end of the season. It's going to be broadcast at midnight and you've got to check it out. It's going to feature fans from all around the Premier League. So make sure you check it out. Hosted by myself, Robbie.